Ground ball competition. This is a fantastic drill to achieve three goals. We can get repetitions. We certainly get competition, which is the fun part. We can tie in instruction as much as we like. To execute this drill, we like to run this on either side of the pitching mound. That puts our throw net to home plate and kind of gives us that do or die play, end of a game, trying to throw somebody out at home plate. You divide your teams into two groups and you're going to alternate ground balls to each team. Field, make a throw, goes in the target or the throw net, you get a point. First team to five, that's the winner. Four to four, this is for the game, Gavin. For the game, on the winning throw. Da -da -da. Pick him up, let's go, pick him up. First DC key. The first key is compete. You're teaching athletes how to compete, how to have fun, keep that smile on your face while you play to win. And there's gonna be a winner, there's going to be a loser, and that's not a terrible thing. One of your challenges as the coach is to make sure that no loser feels like a loser. This is real life and you're teaching competition. Throw five push-ups down, encourage everybody to join in on the push-ups, pick the baseballs up, switch sides, play again. Two, adjust on the fly. In harnessing that competition, you may have to change the rules for obtaining a point. If the kids are struggling to make the throws, can you pause, move the throw net closer? Can you switch a team? Can you make a trade to balance out the competition if one team quickly goes up two games to nil? Third DC key, execution. How tight are you gonna be and what you're looking for as far as ground ball fundamentals? And you can use the lure of a point to get what you want. They don't wanna to listen to you. Your name's dad or your name's coach. They're pretty tired of hearing what you have to say, but they want that point. They come through, make a ground ball, and that ball's in the air and you scream, no point, and give them a reason why. You can sure as heck count on them coming through next time and giving you a perfect fielding triangle, alligator hands, exit footwork. We love the ground ball competition because it brings in real life. We don't wanna be scared of failing or scared of losing or scared to make a play. And we use the ground ball competition to encourage that positive competition. Get after it, compete like heck, high five on the way, and go again. You gotta do five push-ups or you lost the first game. Smiles on my face as a coach. My pace and my energy are still positive. Handle your loss. Let's pick some baseballs up, switch sides and go again. Play hard, have fun.